once upon a time, there lived a poor woodcutter. His wife and he were truly blessed by the presence of their very young and beautiful daughter, Susan. Christmas was near, and Susan wished with all her being that a handsome young prince would ride up and take her away. Well, Christmas morning was no different than any other, for she awoke not to a handsome young prince, but to the same present she received every Christmas. Here you go, Susan, honey, your favorite all-time Christmas present, an orange! We know how you look forward to getting your orange, dear. Why, last year you carried it around till it turned green. Susan didn't particularly care for oranges, but being a good daughter, she always pretended to, so as not to hurt her parents' feelings. So Susan sadly went off into the forest, and by and by she came to the bank of a little stream where she sat down and daydreamed about her handsome prince. Oh, Fudge, why can't I ever get what I want for Christmas just once? All I ever get is these stupid oranges. Oh, no sooner had the orange hit the water, Susan realized what she had done. If she returned home without her little golden orange, her parents would be very hurt. True, the little golden fruit wasn't much, but it was all her father could afford on his humble salary. So Susan wept and cried forlornly. Oh, what else shall I do? Then suddenly a large toad emerged from the water and said, Mon chérie, what do you weep? Who are you? Who do I look like? I am the Christmas toad. <laughs> now tell me, what makes you so upset? I have dropped my beautiful orange into the waters of the stream and do not know how I may get it back. An orange? Why is an orange so important to you? It was a Christmas gift for my mother and father. An orange? I can get your orange for you, but you must be willing to do something for me in return. Oh, okay, only hurry. You must allow me to eat your table this evening, even from your own little plate. And you must allow me to sleep at your bedside this evening. And on the morrow, you must give me a kiss. Oh, okay, only get my orange for me. So the toad dove deep into the water of the cold, cold stream. I have fulfilled my part of the bargain, now take me with you. But Susan would not take up the toad on his bargain. She snatched her little orange and ran back to the shack, forgetting all about the poor little toad and the promise she had made to him. However, as the woodcutter's family sat down to Christmas dinner, there was a knock at the front door. No, no, no. Now the woodcutter answered the door.
daughter, you must fulfill the last part of your bargain. You must kiss the toad. Oh, uh, yeah. Right this way to paradise. Ah! And Susan kissed the toad. And when she looked at him, he was no longer a cold, ugly frog. He was a handsome young prince. <laughs> Susan was overcome. She gasped and she said, I didn't guess that you were really a handsome prince. Why didn't you tell me? And the prince replied, Ruby.